to prove the Earth is flat. Us have spent our entire lives thinking that um, that the Earth looks like this. Mm. Yeah. But you can forget about that because the Earth, in fact, well done, nicely caught, okay. uh, looks like this. This is what it is. It's flat. Uh huh. And it has a uh, just like Game of Thrones. So it's like a coin. It has a, uh, a big um, ice wall. Well, oh, oh, Mark Sargent is one of the leading voices in the flat earth movement right. and he believes it's time that we all woke up and realised that we actually are living on a flat disc. Well, Mark joins us now. Welcome. Good morning, Mark. Welcome, welcome. I mean, obviously, there are thousands of questions, <laughs> yes. which I'm sure you've been asked a thousand times. A few, yes. Yeah. So, um, the, the, we believed for many years that the earth was flat. Now we can see that it's actually round. Sure. But we've seen that it's round. Sure. So how come it's not? It's not because we I love how the best way to stop a flat earther is to ask them stupid questions because most flat earthers are stupid and they're good at answering smart questions because they don't understand them. But stupid questions, they don't know how to respond because it's on their level. We can't prove it's like it's they're like you know like how some pokemon are like immune to certain psychic effects globe everything that we've in fact it starts out with everybody that's in the flat earth community starts out looking at the globe saying can you prove it uh -huh. mm -hmm. can you prove the globe especially without using nasa because it's not that we found out that the world was a globe back in 1972 we knew for five centuries yeah. so that's how everyone starts you try it's to prove it in a court of law but don't you want to believe that it's flat you have no. more proof. i have more proof than you do <laughs> <laughs> i i, I would challenge that well i've got i've got footage here that's direct from the space station and that's that's live okay. pictures from the space station now right that's started, all a lie again started from the american military yes yep, that's fake uh, uh yeah uh -huh, yeah sure well i've watched interstellar before i've seen avatar Are those blue guys real nope now how's this real I'm saying I'm, it's True. worse than that. So True. what is that True. then? What am I looking at if I'm not looking at live pictures? You're looking at CGI, okay. nothing more. Something that started out very simple is. back in the 1950s and yeah. advanced till today. So the CGI I, that was like the, uh, you know, like the moon landing. Yeah. I am, I'm a bit of a space nut. Sure. Um, and, uh, Sorry. And so, no, no, no. Sorry. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm very happy with that. Right. And I've got the app on my phone, which yep. has got where the space station is right now. And I have, in the past, looked at those live pictures. Yes. And I have seen where the space station is and, and thought, right, it's coming over me now. And so I have watched the space station. You can see it as that light. It doesn't blink, doesn't flash, right. goes over as a solid light. And at the same time, I've looked at my laptop and I've seen where I am. Yeah. Oh, I'm not saying there's not there's there's something up there. No question. Is there a vehicle that could be the ISS up there? Yeah. Oh, there yeah. No, there's definitely a space station, but it's a fake space station that it's in the air, but it's broadcasting something that's different. Like, they put it in the air, and they know that it's flat, but they have it video, like, the video is actually CGI, even though it's actually up there. Are people inside Duh. it? No. Not a chance. And you can look at the interior footage and the production value Fake is station. horrible. Yeah. I challenge anybody. I talked to uh, Terry Virts. You know, American astronaut, and look, they're all. You got to remember, everybody that goes up there are high-ranking military. They right. start out at but Colonel. Why? And go, why would he bother? Why? Why would you bother faking well, it? Yeah. Why? Yeah. What's the point of faking it? Well, the, the big the, that's one of the bigger questions, which is why keep this thing a secret? And we're talking about. No, but why fake it? Because if you don't fake it, eventually the private industry is going to get involved, and then they're going to find out on their own. This is. And why that? That would be bad because uh, if you don't if you don't keep this thing a secret remember we we're talking about something that was discovered back in 1960 uh -huh. the public wasn't ready in 1960 yeah B they just weren't their potential uh, academically economically religiously chaos potentially but and so they weren't going to take that chance uh, were those Apollo rockets that went up into the air did they go? They didn't go anywhere. They just went off into the ocean and ditched. That was the, and again, I'm an American. Look, we're, we're taught, you know, rah, rah, go team, wave the flag. And so it's tough for me because I, I love the American yeah. space program. So you flew in a well, straight Why would line. you love the American space program if it's fake, though?
to get here. I did fly in a straight line to get here. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, and you, you've field. got this, you've got, so we've got a dome over the top? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let, let me do this real quick. So the globe okay. that you threw away, what we're talking about is we are all brought up, taught that we live on this tiny little rock yeah. that's covered in a little bit of water and smoke. We're flying through this impossible vacuum of space. Yeah. We're saying that we live on a flat, is enclosed world that is basically, you're basically living in a big sound stage with walls uh -huh. and a floor and a ceiling. The Truman Show. Uh, the Truman Show. Yeah, very, very, very similar. Yeah. We, that is so big that even our best and brightest didn't figure it out until the about 1960. And when they right. did, decide to keep it a secret. The really, really short version is you don't live on a globe. This is what it looks like on the outside. That's what it looks like on the inside. There you go. So right. why don't we just fall off the edge? For the same reason, oh, the space asteroid question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why don't, for the same reason why you don't fall off the edge here. Antarctica is the only continent that doesn't look like anything else. All the other continents in here look perfectly fine. Antarctica, though, and it's not necessarily an ice wall. It's just Antarctica, this really, really, really high continent. So you're saying right? Antarctica yeah. is all the way around? Yep. So Antarctica. where's the North Pole? North Pole's in the center. North Pole's uh, in the center. So the South, South Pole, Pole doesn't exist. Compasses don't work down in Antarctica. Most people don't talk about that. The Antarctic Treaty says that no corporation in the history of the world can set up shop down there forever. What's outside? Well, that makes sense because it, the, if they were, if a corporation was able to set up shop there, they would be able to research and find out that it was flat. Uh, that's True. a tough one, isn't it? Well, I mean, because it could be no it, clue. Well, I mean, if, if you can't get outside, you're not going to know for sure. But I mean, I don't think, you know, my personal opinion is no. this, this isn't a one off. There's not just one of these. There's more. You have been accused yourself as being sort of a member, I think, of Warner Brothers or something. You're yep. making yep. this up. Government yeah. agent. Yeah. So. I mean, aren't you just all turning on yourselves? Like, no, you can't it's, believe anything. No, 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 ever. no. It's, it's not no, even your own. At the end of the day, again, like the Scottish Highlands, no offense, but, you know, they can all agree on one thing. They hate the English. That's the same sort of thing here. We can we disagree on so many of the finer points here. But at the end of the day, we all we all agree on one thing. That is yeah. not a globe. And so um, what proof do you have? Got no it. one has ever been there Got it. no one has ever seen taken any pictures of the ice wall yeah. that surrounds yeah exactly. yeah because that's like one thing is that like nobody has ever sh like how could so like if the earth isn't a globe then why do we have globes why did they start why would they start off making it more complicated so no one can get anywhere near. Yeah, why can't we sense? go there? Why can't I? Oh, the Antarctic Treaty. Um, and you can go there. If you want to spend, I think it's like 12,000 pounds, you can go to the edge, one of the peninsulas, uh -huh. and get your picture taken with penguins. No, I want to see the wall. Well, no, well, I, mean, no, I mean, the wall itself it just extends for a long... It, it's, yeah. You can get to the Antarctic coastline. That's not a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to go to the wall. Boy, you're going to go all the way in here? No, the Antarctic <laughs> Treaty forbids it. You cannot go there. It's 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 locked down. It's the only unbroken treaty in the history of treaties. So every, How do you know every that? country in the world. Oh no, it's a, it's not secret information. None of this stuff is secret information. I thought information. Hitler lived there. But where where are you getting that information? What the Antarctic Treaty? It's public yeah. domain. I mean, it's a PDF. I can give, in fact, I gave it to your producer. But the Sorry, it's all corporations. Every corporation in the world. No one can set up shop there. And it's also the only piece of real estate in the world that's not owned by anybody. A little strange, since we're fighting over real estate all the time. Uh -huh. uh, but yeah. no, I mean, stripping of resources in a treaty that was built in 1959. Environmentalism wasn't even a word back then. Do we do we communicate with anyone out there? Is there any trade between the two places? <laughs> I don't know. Couldn't tell you that. To, to your proof questions, and I know we don't have a whole lot of time left. Sorry, let me, let me give you the five bullet points that I gave uh, Georgetown physicist. Uh, okay. First one would be long distance photography. Curvature of the earth is eight inches per mile squared. We eventually should not be able to see over the hill. We should be a hill. We should be gone. Law, HD technology has changed that. Now we can see things way, way further. There's some wonderful work being done by Nathan Oakley and some UK teams where they're actually seeing a horizon behind oil platforms at 10, 15, 20 miles. Uh, gravity versus the vacuum of space. Gravity's holding things down, right? That's gravity. No problem, right? You make the okay, upper part of this a vacuum chamber. You pull a cork. Everyone's, everything's going to rush upstairs. Yeah. Why, when you go outside, why isn't the air outside rushing into space? You can't you can't the atmosphere? Why doesn't go? Why doesn't sense. go yeah. into space? Yeah, true. Can't say gravity anymore because gravity didn't hold the air in this room for that little test. Uh -huh. Third, the moon eclipse is too small. Uh, the moon eclipse is seventy miles wide, and the moon is two thousand miles wide. We never see that in nature. The moon eclipse cannot. We say that the moon makes is sense because like you look up at the moon and it's like this small. It's it's really not that big. There's no way it could be the size of the planet. 
about 70 miles that's wide. That's true. Fourth would be the moon temperature. Yeah. That's a spooky one. I didn't even know that until about two, two years in. Oh, really? Which is the moon generates a cold light, which is, is warmer in the moon shade than it is in the moonlight. If you magnify moonlight, it gets even colder. It's generating a cold laser light. It doesn't even make sense. And the last wow. question, which is the uh, Van Allen radiation trap question, which is, are the Van Allen radiation belts deadly? Yes or no? If they are deadly, then how the Americans get past it with no shielding whatsoever? Remember, the only thing that can stop radiation is gold, lead, and a whole bunch of water. They went with aluminum and plastic. Nobody died. Nobody got radiation poisoning. Uh -huh. Nobody even got cancer. There's still five of them walking around today. If you say yes, then why does NASA have this wonderful video, uh, Ryan trial by fire, saying, oh, yeah, we can't send any capsules into space because we haven't solved the radiation problem yet? Yeah, it's flat. I knew it. I think that if you took this guy up into space and you showed him, you're like, see, it's not flat. He'd be like, ah, oh, bro, like, what? Bro, like, how are we in some kind of, like, uh, uh, is this, like, Universal Theaters? Like, this is simulation? Like, what, you guys giving me drugs? Like, yeah. You can take them up into space, and they'll be like, wow. Man, NASA really put out all the stops to keep me, uh, to, to keep me under control, huh?